In my neighborhood, there is help. It is family court. I want to welcome Judge Denise Brown, chief of family court, and also a judge in recovery court, and Cindy Kamer with her clinical supervisor and court liaison. In the middle of this pandemic, and I and saw that you all were coming and excited to see that, but I worry about this more than anything because I, I, I know that people facing addiction or drug use and, and all of those things, even mental health issues, are just going sky high. So first, let's talk about what is Jefferson Family Recovery Court? What is that and how does it work? Judge? Well, Recovery Court is a lifeline. That's how we describe it. It's a lifeline for families that are in darkness, that have been plagued by uh, addiction and substance abuse issues. And uh, we have, we created the court as a way for families to feel like they could recover in dignity and not feel ashamed of their circumstances. You know, we tag uh, shame so often to so many things uh, and it shouldn't be, you know, it's just a stumbling block. But how do you become part of the Je Jefferson uh, Family Recovery Court? Do you have to wait until you get in trouble or how does this journey start? Well, it is a court uh, program, so you have to have an active case in our courtroom. And so if your case has been adjudicated or resolved and you want to voluntarily enter our program, then we are open to uh, helping you out and giving you with the resources and the support that you need to get back on your feet. So when you get into uh, the Jefferson Family Recovery Court, w what are we talking about? What am I going to be part of once I become part of that program? Well, you become part of a family of uh, judges, support workers, case support workers, uh, seven counties, and many of our partners, Volunteers of America, you and, and the cabinet and their social workers. You become a member of the family that we are uh, dedicated to supporting and helping you get through this situation. Oftentimes, people that have, that suffer with substance uh, abuse issues, uh, it's been a long time since they've had the opportunity to have what many of us would consider to be a normal life where they're making regular decisions about themselves and about them fa their families. And so as they are in recovery, then we're giving them the support that they need to start to make those decisions again on their own with clear thinking, you know, and, and resources for what kind of help that they will need. It's a wraparound program. And Dawn, if I could just piggyback on Please. that. One thing that makes our family uni recovery court unique is the fact that it truly is a partnership between seven county services, the courts and the cabinet for health and family services. And so we're able to provide true social work to our clients who really need that. So that includes helping them access services. It includes assisting them with parenting skills that maybe they have not had the opportunity mm -hmm. to utilize and then helping them with basic life skills. As you're aware, Kentucky is ranked number one in child abuse for the third year. Yeah. yeah. And the Child Fatality and Near Fatality Review Panel found that in the 182 fatality and near fatality cases in fiscal year 2019, substance use was a contributing factor in 50% of those cases. And for the fifth consecutive year, that same panel has indicated that the expansion of Family Recovery Court truly is a key initiative in decreasing abuse and neglect in Kentucky. And we have really found that in our program. We have thus far to date served 45 clients with a total of 111 children. Mm -hmm. We've had 11 successful graduates from our program and three healthy babies born. So it really is indicative of the work that we can do together when we're able to partner between these agencies to bring help to the Commonwealth. Cindy and, and Judge Brown, I mean, my heart is breaking here. I see my community and I, I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure, you know, what is going on? Why do we have such a high incidence of the child abuse, the animal neglect and abuse, the drug use, and now the crime? is through the roof. What are we missing here? Well, I think that we see that already stressed systems are under mm -hmm. more stress. And so being sure that we can access those services that help address that is vital. So whether that's mental health services or substance use services or just community supports, those are all really important aspects of 
living a happy and healthy life. And so Seven County Services is really grateful to be able to partner with Family Recovery Court mm -hmm. to provide those services to families. And we have to not be afraid to right. say, excuse me, I need help. And, yes, and it's got to be going up because I generally don't get too stressed out. First time in my life ever, I have been stressed to the hilt over the last year or so. And I'm telling myself, okay, now you, you need to figure out a way to just ease back down. So let's talk about how do you get into this program? Okay, well, we, it's court initiated. So if you have an active case on our dependency, neglect, or abuse docket, you can volunteer to be in this program. Will You're someone not ask you though? Will they yes. ask you or? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Each of our uh, family court judges are aware of all of the programs and resources that are available and they identify individuals who are able to participate in the program should they choose that and also the parent attorneys, guardian ad litems, anyone that's in the system, the case workers, CPS workers, anyone can refer a person to participate in the program and we've even had folks directly contact us and say I do have that case uh, in, a, in a courtroom, is there a way that I can get information on it? So we're reaching out, individuals are reaching out, and then we have other agencies that we partner with that are aware of the program and make sure that people have the information that they need to get involved. Is there anything that you all want to make sure that you give information because we're going so quickly today? Anything you want to make sure that you let people know? I think just that we're here to help yeah. and there's no shame in asking for mm -hmm. help and so we really would like to be able to provide this service to help keep families together in any way that we can. And if you can get the help before you hit the court system, maybe you won't end up in the court system, right? Absolutely. Right. right. And does that, it, does that start with seven counties maybe? Where does that start? Absolutely. We have a wide range of services that are available, um, be it mental health services, substance use services. We run the whole level of care. So anybody who is interested in accessing those services can do so through our website or by calling our access line at 502-589-1100. And just really quickly, because so many people are pinched for money with this pandemic, what do those costs for services look like? Our services are covered by any insurance provider that a family has, so we're able to provide those to anyone who needs them. All right. I appreciate what you all do to keep families together, to get families back on track. Certainly important as we talk about Jefferson Family Recovery Court. Thank you, Judge. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Cindy. you for having us. All right. Very much.